last week on Sunday morning, our council met and approved to go ahead and serve communion in this online format because we don't know how long we'll be um, separated and not worshiping at Bread of Life. And so uh, the first Sunday and the third Sunday of each month, we will be sharing communion together. And so you're invited to bring to worship those weeks some bread or some crackers and some wine or juice. Do your best to bring something like what Jesus shared with his friends and followers. Because we are remembering that God provides for us in our need. That God takes care of our body and our spirit with these gifts. So don't bring a whole big, huge pile of food that you can't eat because you wouldn't normally do that. And it's a waste. We proclaim that with the word and with our faith and with these elements, somehow they are transformed into more than just bread and just wine. They nourish us and feed our spirit. So we come with reverence, we come with respect to this meal. We don't just quick grab the last piece of candy in the box or something like that. We bring something with reverence and respect. And then together in this online space, we will share the meal together. So uh, we'll go through the, the parts that we always go through for communion. And then when we get to serving that, um, the, the communion pieces, um, I will offer each the bread and the wine for you, but if you're serving others in your home, you can tell them this is the body of Christ given for you with the bread. And then with the wine or the juice, you can share with them, this is the blood of Christ shed for you. <clears throat> 